It's Friday, September 16th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. President Yoon Song yeol will hold his first ever summit with Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida in New York next week. This will be the first summit between South Korea and Japan in almost three years amid soured relations between the two nations over historical issues. The meeting will be held on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly as part of Yoon's seven-day trip to the UK, US, and Canada next week. It's also been confirmed that Yoon will hold a summit with US President Joe Biden during his time in New York. Aside from the summits and the UN gathering, President Yoon is set to attend a host of other diplomatic events, including the state funeral of Queen Elizabeth and a summit with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. A woman accused of killing her two children in New Zealand was arrested in South Korea on Thursday. The woman in her 40s is believed to be the mother of two children whose bodies were found in suitcases last month that were sold at an online auction in Auckland. Local police have been tracking her down at the request of New Zealand authorities, and they arrested the suspect in the city of Ulsan at around 1 a.m. on Thursday. The woman has denied the murder allegations. The Seoul High Court will hold a hearing to decide whether to send her back to New Zealand. China's top legislator Li Jiansu met with President Yoon song yeol in Seoul on Friday. Li, who is the third highest-ranking official in China, came to Seoul at the invitation of National Assembly Speaker Kim Jinpyo. He arrived here Thursday with a 66-member delegation. Li met with President Yoon at 4 p.m. Friday after visiting the LG Science Park in the morning and holding talks with Speaker Kim at around 2 p.m. His trip marks the first time in seven years for a top Chinese legislator to visit South Korea since 2015. And those are your top stories. For full link articles, you can go to our official website, link down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.